Welcome back to the channel. I'm Neil, your host. Got some fresh info coming your way. We got some tap harmonic lessons coming at you right here. Check out this stuff. Little Eddie Van Halen style. Also your tip of the week, how to make dolphin sounds. I'm gonna use a whammy bar. You can also use a battery or a slide or a pen. I'm gonna mute the strength of my left hand. I got some delay on. I'm gonna tap and slide with my right on the high E string. Also, you can play it with the left hand and just kind of um, pluck with the right and kind of mute the top string with your, with your fingers. This is actually sounds better. Sounds cool on the low strings too. Really cool. Try it out. It's a lot of fun. Tap harmonics, your lesson of the week. This stuff right here. A la Van Halen. Now, as you know, there's three major places to get harmonics in the fretboard. The 12th fret, the 7th fret, and the 5th fret. If I were to finger one fret, the 1st fret, all those harmonics shift. Wherever you're fingering, they shift with it. Let's say if I finger the 1st fret, then those positions would all shift up one fret. So now your 12th fret harmonic is going to be on the 13th fret. And it will follow the fingering. It's very important to remember when you're doing tap harmonics because then you'll know where to tap. The most obvious place is an octave above wherever you are. So if I'm on the 2nd fret, I'm going to tap at the 14th fret. Now how you get a good tap harmonic is you just slam your finger down above the fret and release quickly. It takes a little bit of strength and it's kind of weird if you've never done it before. It feels kind of unusual. When I'm fingering this one note, I'm muting the low strings here and the top strings here. Now you can also tap out chords, for example, an E major chord. Just imitate the pattern an octave above. The higher open strings are a little harder to get, so you can tap them a little bit harder. You can also bend, add a bent harmonic, get some really cool sounds out of it. So this applies to any chord up and down the fretboard. Just hit that octave above and remember the harmonies in between. With a little bit of practice, you can get that tap harmonic action popping out and then it makes it easier to do some more advanced stuff. And uh, you can leave me a request, check out our other videos right here on the Guitar Tricks channel on Facebook, YouTube, MySpace, and Twitter. And in the forum at Guitar Tricks. <laughs>